Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome to another RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, a script that you can pick up, which I'll just go into now and show you. Which is this one here, which is called the uh, Move Restrict Region. Uh, basically, as you will have seen in the previous video where it changes the spawn of the enemies depending on what region you're standing in. This works similarly in the fact that you can now restrict the movement of player characters and NPCs in squares that you do not want them to be in. So it can be quite useful, which I will uh, show you now. So this is one of the maps I've been working on. Um, it's sort of like towards the end of uh, one of the levels. And as you can see, there is there's a lot of movable tiles in this particular area. Now obviously I want the player, I want to direct the player going to the main quest item which, or main quest point which is here, and by doing, and to stop them from just like wandering off and walking to the edge of the maps for no apparent reason, um, I've set up a way of doing the invisible walls by doing this, as you can see. All the areas which I don't want them to walk in even though obviously I'm not sure, well they obviously can't walk over these pillars. Um, they now can't actually, you know, go into. So the way you you do that is you obviously have to put the script in. Now I've placed it under all the key or under all the core stuff anyway um, in my script editor. Although you can't actually see the script editor, so that will not help. Let me just bring that up so you can see it. Okay, so here's the script editor in here. I'll just make it a little bit bigger for you to see. And as you can see on here. This is where the region restrict one will go in. It is made by Yanfly, so you do have to have the uh, core engine in order to make it run. Uh, it works straight out of the box. You don't have to make any changes to it, which is very nice. And you can restrict all characters. You can restrict your own character, or you can just restrict NPCs. Um, the only way NPCs can get through it is if they um, have the through option on in the event command which um, for those of you being slightly confused now um, if this oh whoops it's not showing that either so what I don't like about the new exploit it's not all that easy so basically as long as this is if this is ticked they can still go through it but if it's not ticked they will basically bounce against the invisible wall okay so there we go and what you want to do is when you're in your map properties in the note section, which once again is not showing because it's lovely like that. Uh, depending on whether you want NPCs not to be able to traverse the tiles, or whether you want the carrot the main player not to be able to traverse the tiles, or all. Now I just hit it as all just because I know that I never want anything going through it and that would be the way I would I would look at it if I were you guys. So restrict all and then the region which is 63, which as you can see on here is in fact 63 and I guess you want to see that it works so beware for very loud music it might not be too bad hopefully and we'll just go in and show you it working it would help if I show the actual game editing on the fly beautiful okay So if you remember where all the patches were before, you can see now that the player can now no longer move into air tiles, which he, you know, would normally otherwise be able to, because those brown patches are actually actually can be walked through. So yeah, so it keeps the player focused on getting to this main point and not a straying off path. I'll be using this a lot more, I mean I should have really started using it before, I'm going to have to go back and adapt it to what I've already done thus far. But as you can see it's a really useful tool and it will help uh, especially with you know restricting the player for, for storyline reasons and not that it would, I mean don't get me wrong it wouldn't hurt to have it all sort of traversable but 
I just think it takes away from it a little bit, it takes away from the immersion a little bit if you uh, if you do that in in certain places. So there you go, guys. Thank you much for watching. Um, just so, well, in case you already don't have the game and uh, you do, in fact, want what well, game? The Maker RPG Maker VX Ace. I will be, or there is a Steam key down in the comments below, right at the end. So if you do want to get that, it is in there, and you can just redeem that on Steam, and that will give you the the full game. Or it's called a tool, isn't it? Or software or something. Anyway, please feel free to use that. Anyway, guys, I will see you all very soon.